Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cash on stuffing for the third week of March. So I will be going over all of our expenses, whether they were online, cash expenses, or I used my credit card and then we are paying ourselves back today. So I will be unstuffing our cash envelopes a few of our sinking funds, and I will also be placing stickers on my planner and chatting with you a little bit as I do so. So if you are interested just how we spend our money from week to week, or you are new to the system and you kind of want to figure out if it works for you, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm tracking all of our expenses from the 15th through the 21st. On Wednesday the 15th, there was a couple transactions. I did go to Sam's Club and pumped $47 worth of gas coming out of the gas envelope. I went to Sam's Club because I picked up the order that I had placed online on Sunday. They had actually canceled one of the orders on me and I had to go inside the store. It was raining that day. It was a whole mess, but um, I did just pump gas since I was already there. And then I did place an online order that same day for, um, I think it was some dog pads. Yeah online for $19 but those did get shipped to my house and then I also made an online order at Target for $8 I believe it was for deodorant my son was out of deodorant and that was also an online order both of those are coming out of the household envelope that's crooked so I'm gonna fix it and um, that was a pickup orders so that was it for the 15th on the 16th there was a few transactions i went to go get a haircut my daughter and i so that was 50 dollars with tip we finally got a trim i cut off a few inches but nothing too too drastic and that was a cash expense coming out of the beauty envelope and i also went to wiener schnitzel and spent 13 dollars there that was after the haircut and I'm taking that out of personal and Brian did grab some Popeyes on his way home from work so he got some Popeyes for himself and for my son that was $24 coming out of takeout and I also I got Spotify for my son again for $10 that's coming out of kids I kind of made a deal with him. I told him you have to do he has he does chores, right? Like he cleans his room and washes his clothes and basic stuff. So, but I told him I will continue to purchase the Spotify membership for you monthly, but you have to do a little more. So that's kind of our arrangement and he does get Spotify monthly now, but he has to work for it. So that's $10 there. On the 17th, there was only two transactions. My sister actually came to my house this morning and she was craving Chick-fil-A. So we went to Chick-fil-A for $43. I spent $43. Funny story. And that is coming out of takeout. Um, so the nearest Chick-fil-A close to us is actually under like reconstruction so we did have to drive about 20 minutes to the next city for the closest chick-fil-a and the google gps ended up taking me to a chick-fil-a that was inside of a college so obviously i was not going to go in there because first of all i looked like a hot mess and i had our we had our kids so that was going to be a funny situation to be waiting in chick-fil-a inside of the college with all of these young adults but anyway so we ended up leaving there and having to go to another chick-fil-a which was actually closer but i don't know why it took me there so i can say now that i went to college <laughs> um and then oh, what else oh the next transaction i did go to food for less and i spent 27 dollars there i'm going to be taking some from groceries and some from household i did purchase like paper plates things that um, i was going to use for saturday since it was my son's birthday on saturday and although we're not we didn't celebrate it fully on the 18th on his birthday we are ce celebrating it tomorrow actually today is the 24th 
we're gonna celebrate it tomorrow we didn't want to not do anything so we did have a carne asada and um i had to purchase a few things for for that that's why my sister came down and then my brother-in-law and my nephew were also here so it was just a little tiny barbecue tomorrow it'll be the the bigger party quote unquote quote quote unquote <laughs> quote unquote so um that was it for the 17th on the 18th i went to cardenas and i spent ten dollars there i was going to purchase a cake but i ended up just buying cake mix and my sister baked him a cake she did the whole thing it was it was so cute i didn't even take a picture of it i completely forgot and then i went to dollar tree i spent eleven dollars there the intention was just to get a birthday card because we did give him cash but i of course came out with nail polishes and i have one right here next to me this is a maybelline fast gel in the color caramel crush i was supposed to paint my nails before filming this video but it didn't happen but this is such a pretty color it's almost like the same color of my skin kind of more of a pinky color it's so pretty so yeah, I did purchase, I purchased four colors, but I just had that one right here since I was going to paint my nails, but that didn't happen. So I spent $11. I'm going to take that out of miscellaneous and personal. I also spent $28 on Amazon. And that is coming out of the kids envelope. My nephew brought a, it's like a puzzle game. It's called Canoodle. Have you guys heard of it? I, I'll show you really quickly. I can't find it i think phoenix took it to his room but anyway it's like a puzzle like these little balls i will leave the link in the description box in case you're interested um so brian was hooked on that game my daughter was hooked on it and my son phoenix was hooked on it so i did end up buying two of them if you guys like puzzle games i definitely recommend it is pretty addicting but you get to exercise your brain so that was not it for saturday i went to the meat market and i spent 75 dollars for the carne asada meat and I, don't, I can't remember what else i know there was more things i think i purchased like the salsa we also did give my son 100 dollars in cash so i'm gonna place this here And that was it for Saturday the 14th on, I mean the 18th. On the 19th, Brian had to go to Home Depot and he spent $53. That is coming out of the home maintenance category sinking fund because we had to replace um, the tub, uh, the little thing that you can push down for the water not to drain. We had to replace that and then he purchased some screws because one of the restrooms the drawer it came off so he fixed the drawer and i can't remember what else but it was 53 dollars for that and then on monday there was also one transaction he went to this um store called train and he spent 31 dollars there it's coming out of the home maintenance envelope as well because our AC wasn't turning on on Saturday was like super hot. So we turned on the AC. It was hot inside the house. It was not hot outside. I think it was raining. Anyway, I think it's because we were baking. So the hot the house was hot. The cooling wouldn't turn on. So he checked it and I guess there's this little part that needed to be replaced. So he did purchase that and he purchased some filters. So that's pretty much it for monday and then on the 21st it was the only no spend day of the week so but i did pay for the wells fargo credit card 450 dollars. so that's pretty much it that's how our spending week went i'm gonna total up everything and then we can get to the cash unstuffing so on wednesday it was eight dollars plus 19 plus 47 so it's a total of 74 dollars i don't include the bills which are in purple i just include any expense whether it was cash envelope sinking funds i won't include the bills it's pretty much what i'm saying 
10 plus 24 plus 13 plus 50. That was $97 on the 16th. And 27 plus 43, 70. On the 18th, 100. 224 on Saturday, 53 on Sunday, and 31 on Tuesday. I mean, Monday, Tuesday, zero dollars. So I'm going to total up week three, 328. So $976 for the third week of March. Oh, sorry. You guys were in the glare the entire time. Down here, I am going from Sunday to Saturday. That's how I am totaling it. But whenever I do the check-ins, it's from payday to the day before the following payday. So that's pretty much how the spending week looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and unstuff the envelopes. Before I get on to the unstuffing, you know I gotta stall a little longer and go over the spending tracker. So for today, we are going to be cashing out $399. The cash expenses for this week were $150. So totaling those two together is a total of $549. But today, we're only gonna be unstuffing $399, just like I said. And then, of course, I do have the date, the transaction, the amount, the category, and whether it was a card expense or a cash expense and on the back i have all of the totals so again this is the cash expenses 150 and they were a beauty expense and coming out of the birthdays sinking fund there was one no spend day cash envelopes we spent a total of 290 dollars and then out of our extras envelope a total of 75 dollars sinking funds were a total of 184 dollars for home maintenance and birthdays, but we're only gonna be unstuffing the $84 today because birthdays was a cash expense. So that is pretty much how it looks all summed up together. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with gas. I do have $40 in change. I did grab it from my personal rollover money. And then once we're done, I will add that back. So, for gas, it was a total of $47. Let me place this. I'll just place that there. Move these forward. And we are getting $3 back. For miscellaneous, it was $4. So I have a five and I'm giving it $1 back. We might have to dip into this for I think a, the kids envelope doesn't have enough so we might have to come in here but that's what the miscellaneous is for whether um, we fall short in any other category or um, it's just an expense that doesn't really fall into anything we do have that envelope there beauty it was $50 but it was a cash expense kids $38 so we have 30 and I need $8 more so we're gonna take it from miscellaneous i have a 10 and i grab two dollars so now there's three left in miscellaneous and i'm gonna update the tracker just because i am filming a cash stuffing right after this and i want to have the trackers as accurate as i can so okay so we have three dollars left there I think that was the only envelope that was short and I actually have to also update this because I did put it was negative seven dollars so I'm just zeroing it out I know these are extra steps but honestly I that's just the way I like to do things I'm kind of pretty thorough not with every aspect of my life but at least with our budget I try to be as thorough and as accurate as possible and it's been working for quite a while, so I don't think I will change my system anytime soon. Once I find something that works for me, it's kind of hard for me to venture out, and it just has been working for me. So 
giving nothing to unstuff there personal i'm unstuffing 20 dollars. that's from my little my little envelope here so 20 dollars. i have 10 left let me check these off before i forget Take out, this is actually Brian's $10. I forgot to give it to him yesterday. Take out is getting $67 taken out. So I have 70. And I need $3 back. These singles always get me. I never seem to have enough. So now there's $8 left. And groceries is getting $27 taken out i have i don't have change because i only have one dollar so we'll we'll come back to this one if not i'll make change somewhere and household 37 dollars let's see if we have two dollars no we don't so i'm gonna have to come back to this one let me check off take out extras i'm taking 75 dollars out so we have 50, 70, and five. We still have to purchase the food that we're gonna have for tomorrow. So I think this should be enough. We are getting fried chicken from Winko and like the macaroni salad. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and I'm gonna buy the sweet rolls you know the sodas and stuff like that the cake that should all be covered with this with this money so that is that's not it for here but i'm gonna try and make some change let me go into the home maintenance envelope which is here home maintenance i have to take 84 dollars out and i don't have change go figure let me go ahead and make some change all right, I was able to grab $10 from other envelopes. So I said $84, 20, 40, 60, 80, and a five. And we need $1 here. So now in home maintenance, there's 1,000, 2,000, 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 840, 860, 870, 880, 881. And that's it for this binder. Now, let me go back to groceries. And I need $23 back. So 20, one, two, three. I have 23 now. And for household, $37. So I have 40, I need three back. One, two, three. And now there's 13 in here. And that's it. It's pretty, that was a pretty quick one. Let me check all of these off. And now I'm going to put the $40 back that I got for change and put them back in here. So let me just do the 20s. Make sure 20, 40, 60, 85. Yeah. So that's it for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we have $399. Oop. So we have 100, 200, <laughs> 50, 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, plus 120, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, plus 29. So that gives us a total of 399 dollars which is what we need to pay the credit card back. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. It's kind of a short one, I think. Maybe not with all my chatting when I go through all of our expenses. 
hopefully it's not a long one and you stuck around up until this point and if you did let me know in the comments what is your favorite adult beverage i don't really drink but last friday i completely forgot to mention brian did go to the laker game with his brothers and um his brother-in-law our brother-in-law it was actually free tickets from his job they reward him every so often and they do have yearly seats or whatever you call it annual pass i i don't know what you call the laker ticket having them every year the whole situation anyway so he did go to the game and he had a great time but my sister and i were here and we ended up drinking um i think she said they were called white russians so it's with kalua i believe vodka and a splash of heavy cream and if you're a coffee drinker and you also like alcohol it's a really good drink it's pretty sweet and um i had to i was i wasn't even tipsy i, I was getting there but it was just to relax and we had a really good time it was just us girls and the kids and yeah go ahead and leave it in the comments what is your favorite adult beverage if you don't drink or you're not of age what is your favorite drink i don't have a favorite adult beverage but if i do love coffee so if i had to choose it would probably be that white russian or i do also love um, rum chata whenever i decide to drink which is probably like once or twice a year so anyway go ahead and leave me your favorite beverage in the comments and as always i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye